10 million children in the world die each year. Um, and a lot of those are in poor countries. And I wanted to go and work in a place where I'd be having perhaps a small impact and be involved in teaching people who are going to be doing that. So after I leave, somebody else can do it. You certainly have to be adaptable to work in Malawi. You, you have to adapt your skills and, uh, and it, it can be done. We are faced with a lot of uh, problems as regards to health. One nurse might be in the world caring for over 100 patients. We have got very few qualified medical doctors. I worked in one of the district uh, hospitals in, here in Malawi in the paediatric unit, which had 100 children with only six or seven cots. If one nurse is looking after 80 patients, they might be spending all their time just giving medicines. So they do one lot of giving medicines and then then it's time to start the next lot and they don't really have much time to identify children when they become sick. There's a lack of basic equipment like a, a drip stand for example. You had to tie up the fluids against the wall or on windows. We don't have enough equipment especially. We just uh, maybe use very very old outdated equipment. Let's say when it comes to operations there are very old maybe instruments we were using there. The VSO Lectures who are coming from different countries, especially in the UK, they are actually helping to relieve our situation in Malawi. There were so many of my um, existing skills I think were called upon and I had to develop whilst in Malawi. My clinical skills, having to think without the aid of the investigations maybe that I'm used to, um, having to make clinical judgments and treatment decisions without necessarily the treatments and drugs that I'm used to dealing with very sick children, so I developed many skills, particularly in the sort of initial management of children who are needing resuscitation. When I'm clinical instructor, I'm following the students out into the clinical placement area and teaching in the wards. Of course, BAM has helped us a lot. We do make mistakes sometimes, but she works for you, she calls you aside with them. It has been a very good experience. A lot of improvement has taken place. Like when they came, we were having clinical meetings, but not at a regular basis. Now we have clinical meetings every month and together, and that improves our working relationship and improve our skills. I've learned to prepare lectures. I was involved in actually organising and running the fifth year uh, medical students teaching. Here I'm teaching in a classroom uh, up to 72 students at a time. And their teaching uh, involved tutorials, um, bedside teaching, ward rounds, going to clinics. I've had a huge amount of clinical exposure which someone who just stayed in this country would never hope to achieve. If you really think it's desperate and it's pointless to come, then don't come. Because you need a bit of belief, you need a bit of positive attitude to work here and to stay, to keep doing your job with, with pleasure. And I don't, I don't think it's hopeless. I mean, it, as much as anywhere in the world, there are people suffering here. They need patient care, they need good care, they need good health care. And if you can help one patient a day or you can pass one little thing on to a clinician or to a nurse, then you're making a difference. I feel that they saw healthy professionals they should come to Malawi and assist us because we don't have enough support. I think if you're involved in teaching uh, people who, to become doctors then there's no uh, question that it's going to be sustainable. We are making a, a lasting impact because the students I'm training now are going to be trained uh, as hopefully I was trained. I was in Malawi for just over a year and there are already people that I'm teaching who are working as doctors. There are another 40 students who I've been involved in teaching paediatrics who are going to be doctors within six months. So what I would say to somebody who's considering applying is yes, apply, do it. You may be worried that it has a, a negative impact on, on your career but, but it won't. If you're involved in some of the things that, that I was, that's only going to have a positive impact on your career in the future. You've got a lot to give. They need to come. Um, I had a, a very good time. Um, uh, I learnt a lot um, and I'd like to go back. Thank you.